What up, YouTube Nation? I'm going to bring you know, here another car being car. This is the Merryweather Mesa versus the Insurgent. I'm here, as always, with my companion, Squidmerk. What's up? And also, just as a quick little advertisement, I may do this for a while. Uh, I will leave a link in the description to his channel. He has a new channel. He has just started out. He's going to be making Minecraft, uh, GTA, Gmod, and Call of Duty videos. But give him some slack on some of his videos. Just for now, I'm going to try and help him get his uh, all sorted out for the first couple weeks. But I will leave a link to his channel in the description. Anyway, let's get on to the Carby car. Uh, we are doing the Meriwether Mesa, uh, Mesa versus the Insurgent, which are... Well, we kind of just came up with the idea, you know, we're thinking, pe uh, people probably want to know which one's better for off-roading. You know, even though the Insurgent's been out for a month, I don't really know of anyone who did this matchup. But you can now buy the Meriwether Mesa on Warstock. Same with the Insurgent, but with the Insurgent you have to buy a lot. Anyway, we're going to go with the Classic 5 test. First off, as you can see, we're at the Los Angeles Customs, Customizations. Now, I know I'm going to win this one. Well, actually, wait. I think it might be even up. I think we both have zero. Like zero uh, special uh, couples. Uh, what brings you oh yeah, what do you got? That's special. Remember what that means. The ones that are exclusive to that vehicle. You have any problems? You bring her back. How many me. do you have? I don't want to talk about it. You have zero, don't you? <laughs> Same with me, so it's a tie. Uh, really? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Off-road vehicles aren't meant to be customized a whole bunch. Anyway... Oh, look, look at the Jeep. <laughs> My Jeep looks cool. It's all, it, it comes like this stock. <laughs> this is, You actually, three people out there who are watching this, who do not know how really to get it, you can either call the mercenaries and kill the mercenaries, take their uh, Meriwether mess up, or you can actually buy this on Warstock. But uh, to get the insurgent, you have to uh, go through the Humane Labs raid, and uh, then you'll unlock it, and then it's like 700 grand. So there's a slight price difference, considering mine's like about 100 grand. Anyway, we're going to head over to our normal location to do our strength test, which is basically what we'll do is we try not wreck anything on your way over here, dude. There's the one wrecking. Uh, last time I checked, I was doing pretty good. Uh, so basically we're going to ram it against the wall. We might need to find a new spot considering we keep having to deal with traffic. Let's go find a new spot. Wait, where are you going? Oh no, I got turned around. I'm coming back. Hey dude, I, You're not I think, I, think I may have found a location. I'll go first. You're in the way. Okay, your turn. Oh, and well that might make a little dent there. Go. You got this. Okay, to the pain spray. And because I think I took the headlight out on my car, I'm going to decrease whatever it is by 50 bucks because I think I did accidentally take a headlight on the back of my car because I accidentally backed up into a light pole. Good job. I didn't see it there. We were working with the Okay, make that still $50. I'm, I'm going to still do it with that based on how much damage you usually cost in this game. Let's see. Yours is probably going to be more expensive. Really? I can't control it. It has a mind of its oh, own. Better try harder. It, it has a mind of its own. Okay, let's see. How much was yours? How much was yours? How much? I said first. I don't care. Okay, mine was 300 but I'm taking 50 bucks off for that couple crashes I had. So, 250 How much was yours? 250 <laughs> Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, you're not joking here, right? I'm not joking. <laughs> Clarify, one last time. It was actually $250. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, tie number two. That's hilarious. I'm actually shocked by that. Because I'm pretty sure by the damages that I took was about $50 worth of damages. Okay, next one we're going to be doing, so far we've done customizations. Shut up, Ron. Uh, strength. <laughs> um, so what do we have left? We have, we've done strength, customizations, we need to speed and acceleration. What's the fifth freaking test? I'm forgetting. Customizations. 
Strength. Handling. Handling! Yeah. I, I, <laughs> if I post more of these, I'll remember better. Okay, so I'll go first by driving my vehicle. Just go park yours, okay? I'll be back. Okay, so... By the way, I will have an off-road test at the end for where you guys can check out an off-road comparison as well. So that way you can guys get... Uh, because most of you people were wondering in the Sand King and... Um, Sand King versus the uh, Guardian, why I didn't do an off-road comparison. So I'm going to start doing that for off-road vehicles. Anyway, this vehicle is not bad. I'll leave my truck on lock. I'll be right back. Not bad. You kind of have to slow around around turns. Like I said, this is kind of those people you know, want the classic one, but we'll get more off-roading. Uh, seems you have to kind of group it around those turns. It's really uh, struggling around those turns. You can hear the, uh, the tires squealing back there. You really have to slow down for round turns. So, yeah, that's the mirror with a mess, though, right there. So now we're going to take a look at the insurgent. I don't think Squib will mind. You left it unlocked. I thought you get in. Okay, this is... Oh, gosh, this is even worse. Mainly because, probably because it's so big and bulky. Oh, yeah, this is... I mean, when you expect something like this, you expect for yourself to go on a straightaway ramming vehicle. It's kind of like what's good does. This thing with cornering, it just... It sucks. I'm giving it to the Meriwether Mess. Uh, so, so far, the Meriwether Mess is winning. But I feel like the next thing... Will. I'm still shocked over that armor test. <laughs> but now, guys, we will go. Talking about the insurgent rock. We will go now to our two last of the uh, of classic five tests that we're doing: the acceleration and the speed up in Sandy Shores. And then after that, we're going to do an off-road comparison of the torque, <coughs> also uphill, which is basically off-road overall, and also a wading depth, which means how deep the vehicle can go in with the water. So. We'll see you up in Sandy Shores. Anyway, guys, we're now back here at Sandy Shores. This is our speed and acceleration test based on when we start off. Can you, can you stop that for a minute? Based on who gets off the line the fastest and the furthest, and then based on the entire stretch, we'll see what speed is, and we'll see what the points go to. So, three, two, one. Of course, he has me in acceleration. Now, let's see, speed wise, is the line being held between? No, it is no. not. <laughs> wait, wait. I think it is now. I think your vehicle's popping out. No, it's not. It's extending. Okay, so barely. Your vehicle wins barely in speed. Fine, it wins in the classic. But let's see what it can do in the off road. So, overall, so let's see here. In the customizations, both have zero. They're not really meant for customizations. They're big heavy-duty vehicles. That's kind of what you expect. Um, with armor, uh, basically, for the damages I already did on my Mirror of Nessa, and I'm shocked at the price that the Insurgent had, it, they tied there as well. Then when it came down to handling, obviously because the Mirror of the Nessa is lighter, um, you know, I mean, it, it obviously won that because the Insurgent's a lot here. But as I predicted, performance on the Insurgent picked up and it won in, in acceleration and speed. So overall, it wins the classic test. But now we're going to be doing three off-road tests now. So we'll be right back. Okay, dude, come on. Start me right over here. We're going to do our torque test. I want you to get right in front of me. Okay. Like your bumpers to my bumper, okay? Slow it down a little bit, come on. We gotta be like extreme, like, okay. I feel like I'm gonna lose this horribly. Don't go yet. Okay guys, we're here for the first of the three off-road tests. This is the torque. On three, we will press RT. And we will see who has more torque. So, three, two, one, go! You know what's sad? I put my gas pedal to the floor. Okay, that was predicted.
now we're going to do waiting beds. Which, well, actually, no, we're going to leave that for last. <laughs> um, next, we're going to be doing uphill. So we're going to take this hill over here for uh, for a challenge over here. We'll both be at the bottom of the hill, first one at the top. You kind of know who gets the uphill, so be right beside me right here. I need to go in second view and not first person so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, three, two, one, go. Um, you said you went on one, so you cheated. Does it really matter? Nah. Oh, 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 oh! I'm still king, I got top first. Okay, you did get top, and I kind of was, yeah, I kind of did go originally, so. Yeah, you did win that, you did win the uphill. But hey, I did catch up at the end. Anyway, now, the, the dangerous part. And remember, I'm going to do it for you, because apparently he doesn't want to lose 16 grand. Don't do it yet, dude. Remember? Now we're going to see how far we can go in the water. Once we go in the water... We uh, will just leave the vehicle there. We'll try and see where it died, and then we'll take the second vehicle and see if we can go further. Okay, I'll go first. I'm going to get a running start from right about here. You're not supposed to do a running start? I'll, I'll do a running start for both. Okay, fine. I won't, I won't, fine, I won't do a running start. <laughs> just like creep into the water. Okay, fine. Let's see how far it will go. Okay, now swim over to me, and I want you to be right in this section where my uh, where my jeep is, so that way I know where it is. Swim. I need to dive and find it. Uh, I'm right at it. I'm right here at it. You'll see it. Okay, just stay at, just stay right here where I am. Okay. All right. Yep, I got. That. Okay. <laughs> Why do you have a breather on? Because <laughs> I had to dive. Ah. I, I think those are. Not worth the money. Oh crap, I fell on a rock. Ugh. I only bought seven, but that's back when I had a lot of money. How much money are they? Like, I don't know. I forgot. Okay, let's do this. Try to make sure I won't hit it. Okay, let's go. Look how far! <laughs> <laughs> now it just died. It just now died. It went to like wait, the middle of the lake. Far, look how far it went. Wait, did it? It did not. Wait, let me see here. No. Yeah, it went off the sand dune, so. Holy crap, look how far I am. <laughs> okay, you went clear off the sand thing, the sand bar. <laughs> okay, in off-road comparison, yes, it is worth it, definitely. If you are one of those off-road type of guys who likes to take it, like me... Yes, it is worth it. But if you're guys who like that all all around, you know, wondering which is better, then you, I mean, you can go with either one. It really is up to you. The very way the Mesa, you know, is like 100 grand. I think it's like 90, 100 grand, something like that. The other vehicle you have to unlock through the third heist, which probably all of you have by now, and also spend about 700 grand. So, I mean, it kind of differs there. When off-road, it's definitely worth it. Overall, the Insurgent's a really great vehicle, and both vehicles are really pretty great. Time to say goodbye. But, uh, yeah, oh, sorry. I, I didn't need to. Uh, <laughs> what the? <laughs> Guys, I think I'm going to leave it at that, so comment, like, subscribe, do whatever the heck you want to make my channel out of this. I'll be back here for another Carby Card next week. Sorry I missed last week. We had a plan. It kind of sprawled out of control. Um, it was a little stressful for me that night, so sorry. But we will bring it back next week. Leave your suggestions in the comments below. I will look at them and see which one I like the most. And I will also uh, put a shout-out to you in that video if I do use to. If I choose to uh, do it. So, uh, it's good. You want to say anything before we go? I love you guys. Aww. I will leave a link to, like I said, I will leave a link to his channel in the description below. And so, guys, I'm going to leave it out. So, guys, I will say goodbye. Peace. Actually, wait. Peace.